Hello, everybody. Um, so this is going to be a walkthrough on the assembly documentation. Um, so obviously, if you're to this point, you have the selfie stick assembled. So the first step that we're going to um, perform is we're going to look at these three tabs basically over here on the right side of your screen. Um, and the first thing that I recommend um, playing with is the top one, which is the bill of materials, B-O-M, and that's what this means. Um, you're going to see when you pop this open some different, um, different columns. Um, and you can, if you right click over the title, you can remove that column and move it and do whatever you want to do. Um, the item number, you will not be able to change because those are associated with, um, the parts that you brought in to create the assembly. Um, so don't worry about those. Those are fine. The names will stay the same as well because I, I've kind of, when I made the parts for you guys, um, or Projectly The Way made the parts for you guys, um, I basically kept those names so so that they were associated with those item numbers already. So those are fine. Um, what you're going to do, though, is over here on the top corner here, you're going to see Add Column, and you can drop down, and you're going to see um, Part Name. Now, obviously, um, mine's not here because I already have it um, listed, but in your case, you're going to um, put Name, and you're going to go Item Number, Name, and Quantity. The other ones, like I said, let's say I had a project line in here and all that kind of stuff. You just right click over it and remove those columns. These are the only three that we're going to focus on today. Um, so that's all you got to do for the first for the bill of materials. Make sure that that's all set up. Um, super easy. We're going to skip the middle one. And we are going to go to exploded views. And this will be the first initial screen that you see. Um, and you are going to go ahead and click add exploded view. When you do that, you'll see that the browser bar actually completely disappears. Um, and you can think of this as its own world, its own environment, um, its own studio. Um, so this is the exploded view um, studio, as you want to call it or as I'm calling it. Um, and what you're going to do for each one of these is now, because it says editing exploded one, now you're able to um, zoom in and out and and actually move these objects as if they were um, placed together. So you're as if they were exploded. Um, so what I would do is um, I would start with this yellow portion here and you just can click the object. And if you click anywhere on the object, you'll see the tripod here come, come up um, and the trident, whatever they call it. And you can then use these arrows to move the objects just so it's just past the red portion here um, just to give it so that there's a little gap so we can move that. I'm going to move it actually a little bit more just so we can have some space when we move this red piece. Don't worry about distances. Don't worry about any of this stuff. Um, leave translation. We'll go over in depth a little bit more down the road on how to do all this. But don't worry about any of this. You're just trying to make this look as aesthetically pleasing as possible. So if we go through that, we can press the green check mark. And as you can see, the trident's still there, um, but your exploded step one over here is now located. So now we can go to the next piece, which is this red piece. Um, and I'm going to move that down a little bit. And as you can see, um, now it's causing separation between the parts. Um, I recommend then going to the red piece, and I can press the green check mark, press the red piece, and moving that up. And so this is a natural way of how the piece would actually go together and, and be you know separated as well. Um, I don't want to make you know this purple piece go up or anything like that. You want to kind of keep keep the natural environment of these pieces. So I'm good there. Um, the next piece would be the yellow piece. Move that up. The gray piece will come off of that. Um, and as you can see, I, I accidentally pressed two pieces, right? Um, and this is okay. So I can just come over here and press this little X here. I'm going to move this up and I'm going to press the green check mark. And now I'm going to go to the next piece. So if that were to happen, it's okay. Um, it's just, again, I did it again here. Um, it's just uh, basically moving multiple parts. And if that happens, it's okay. You can just press the green check mark and move on. Um, so the next piece I'm going to use or move, I should say, is going to be um, this little uh, shoe, which is basically just a bolt or screw. Press the green check mark. And then the last couple pieces here, you're going to move this up or you can move it out, whatever you want to do. I'm going to move it up just to keep consistency. Press the green check mark. And then my last is the second shoe. And I'll move that out here. And as you can see, these are now all set. I should have eight steps if I've done this correctly. Um, and if you, and, and now I have my exploded view, obviously. 
But if I go back and I want to edit something or, you know, now I can see that this space maybe is a little too much, um, I can go back and and move that piece up a little bit by double clicking it, pressing the green check mark, double clicking that step one now, that's a little too tall, can move that down. And basically from there, you have your exploded view. And now I can press done um, and it'll jump back. Don't freak out. It'll jump back to the fully assembled piece, which is fine. Now we can right click over exploded one and press activate explode. And what that'll do is it'll it'll take us all the way down to the bottom um, of all of the explosions. It's called the rollback bar. Now I can hold this, click it and drag it to the top, click it and it'll turn blue. And then I can use my down arrow and I can go through each one of the steps to preview as if this piece were exploding piece by piece. Now, this is just a cool uh, little tool. There's no reason you need to do this just to give you an example. Um, and I'm going to press done. So that's it for the bill of materials and what you need to do within the assembly. The next parts are inside of the drawing file. So now that we have all of basically the things that we needed to set up originally, now we can um, preview them and show them off inside of a drawing file. So we're gonna create a drawing file, I'm gonna press okay. And we're gonna bring in um, the explosion view. We're gonna mess with some um, drawing um, properties and that kind of stuff to make the sheet size a little different, um, just so it'll, it'll look pretty. So you'll see here it says view scale, you can insert, you'll not see anything because we're not in parts anymore. Now we have assemblies and you'll see your assembly there. Um, we can click that assembly and you'll see over here exploded position is default. If I drop that down now explode one is showing up before if I showed you a drawing file that wasn't there because we didn't create that explode. Um, so I'm going to select that explode and as you can see if it give you a second here, the exploded view is now all good to go. It's also in the front orientation. I recommend putting the isometric just again so that it would look um, kind of cool and you can see each one of the parts. So I'm going to click this and uh, I'm going to first change the, the size. Well, I'll right click and I'm going to make it uh, shaded first. So sh right click over the object, show shaded view, um, and that'll be the start there. After I do that, I'm going to right click in the white space and go to sheet properties. And this will bring open this prompt that allows me to change some of the sizes. So we want uh, a portrait and that'll make it so that it goes up and down, makes it a little bit um, more obviously aesthetically pleasing so you can see the selfie stick. The scale itself, we can change that. I think uh, one to eight, we can even change it. Let's, let's go to like one to four and you can play with this. There's no wrong or right answer here. Um, just so that it fits, you know, cleanly on the screen here. And I'm going to put it over to the left because I'm going to put my bill of materials over here and I don't want um, what we talked about in the presentation, the ballooning eventually to overlap either. So after you have the part in there, the bill of materials is really easy. We're going to come up here and you're going to see the bill of materials icon and you can click that. Um, and it brings open this little prompt where you can see wit fixed corner. I recommend using the top bottom right because then we can click it using a uh, snap right into that bottom right corner. And as you can see, um, all the names, all the item numbers, all the quantities are all there ready for us to go. Um, so that's the bill of materials. The last piece or the last couple pieces, um, you're going to come down here, double click and put, um, you know, your name, obviously. I'll just put mine. You can delete these other ones if you want. I don't I don't really like them there, so I changed that. Um, you can put it in the center and do whatever you want. So I have my name in the title block. I have the bill of materials. I have the explode of view. The last piece is just the ballooning, and this is, again, really easy. Uh, you're going to come up here, and you'll see a call out. Basically, when you hit call out, this is going to bring open this little icon that um, is asking for a reference. And all you're going to do is pick basically the outside edge of the direction you're going to go. And it'll automatically, using the information provided, um, identify that part, identify the number. And all you have to do is make these align. So I clicked, I clicked. Um, the next one I'm going to do is the red which is um, obviously you can see then it aligns those pieces. So the eighth was the stick top. I'm going to come up here and I can do um, this little shoe here. And again, I would recommend just aligning them to make them look pretty. Come over here to six and you can go off to the other side too. Uh, try not to cross over the part. Maybe just keep it on the outside like I, like I just mentioned. Second shoe. 
and I'm just clicking randomly. There is no specific place you have to select or side you have to go. Um, you're just trying to make this look at, you know, pretty as possible, aesthetically pleasing as possible. And then you're going to see the last one here. And that is it. As you can see now, I can press the green check mark. I have my ballooning. I have my bill of materials. I have my exploded view. Now I'm going to um, basically share this with my teacher and I'm good to go. I hope this helps guys. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. Thanks.